So my name is Yvonne Dunnitz, you know who I am. We're right in front now of the Reflection Garden and Labyrinth. We were here today to first celebrate at one o'clock the walk is one at one for world peace. And we had a lovely attendance here of parents and children and uh, friends and family members that came to walk for world peace. Now what this means is that throughout the world in the time zone of one o'clock, everyone went to a labyrinth and walked for world peace. So we know that this continuous wave occurred throughout the world with the intent for people to walk for peace. One of the things I explained to the people here is that peace begins within and that it is through love and caring and respecting and being kind and thoughtful to one another that we can make a difference in each of our lives and that it's all about love. After that, everybody went around in a circle of the labyrinth and then I did a what's called a loving kind meditation of peace. Peace and love for each of the people here to feel the sense of love filling each of them from their head all the way down through their toes and within their heart to fill themselves with that white loving healing light of love knowing that they're never alone and that they are cared about and to go out into the world and to share that love and kindness and peace with everyone and that the labyrinth is here for anyone anytime to come as a place of peace. Welcome. We're delighted that you're all here today. And it was so beautiful starting out with the uh, Walk for Peace because it couldn't have been a better day for it when we're talking about an exhibit that's about diversity, celebrating diversity and inclusion. And the fact that you're all here in this celebration makes it even that much more special because we're here for the children. And we're here to see in the eyes of the children how they view our world and how they view diversity and inclusion. So today in Rotary Common Park, that has the name Rotary because of the wonderful job the Rotarians did in combination with the city to develop the park, you've experienced the labyrinth, you've seen the beautiful sculptures, and on the other side, if you didn't know, is the Holocaust Monument. And today now you're going to witness the new exhibit. So I would like to ask Sai Mafus who is the co-chair, I'm the chair of the gallery at the wall. We'll introduce you to our other committee members shortly to begin with the Pledge of Allegiance. So if you'd be kind enough to stand, we're going to start with that. And the flag is right there. I'm sorry. I pledge allegiance. And now we invite you all to sing along with the Charlotte Avenue Chorus with Miss Lincoln as the choral director.
And now I'd like to introduce Mayor Douches. Well, uh, welcome everybody here to Rotary Common. Thank you all for coming out to our dedication, which we are very proud of. Um, thank you, Yvonne. And we have something special for you a little later, so uh, uh, we'll wait on that just for a moment. Um, but I am honored to be here with you uh, to celebrate this opening. And today, we are dedicating the second phase of the gallery at the wall with the theme, Together We Rise, Celebrating Diversity. The artwork was created by students across the city, celebrating diversity here in Nashua, which is the most diverse and inclusive city in the state of New Hampshire, and we're officially a welcoming city. So this beautiful Rotary Park is the perfect place located within walking distance to areas in the city where many of our diverse population live. Another aspect of our uniqueness is this project itself. Nashua is the only city in the U.S. with a year-round outdoor gallery of this kind. And as you look around you and you see the Rotary Common, it is also parked to the Reflection Garden and the Labyrinth, which we just walked, the Holocaust Memorial just across the brook, and three sculptures from, the, from our International Sculpture Symposium, which is about to go into its 12th year, I believe. So Nashua is the only city in the U. Uh, in the only city in the U.S. also with a sculpture symposium. This symposium has resulted in over 30 diverse sculptures from artists around the world, placed in public sites all over the city for us all to enjoy. Many of you may not know that the New Hampshire State Council of the Arts, an aid organization up in Concord selected Nashua for the Governor's Award as New Hampshire's most creative com community. And why do you think we won that honor? Not only does Nashua have more murals and public art like you see here today than any other city in our state, we have a vibrant art scene including theater, classical concerts, nightlife and music, arts festivals, arts galleries, and a lot more. And soon, we will have an exciting performing arts center right on Main Street, bringing arts and cultural experiences to all residents and visitors. So we in Nashua recognize what is understood in cities across the world. Arts and culture enhance our quality of life. Arts speak in a universal language that brings people of different backgrounds and cultures together. People want to live and raise their children in a city that offers a vibrant arts and cultural scene. With so many demands on budgets, no city or town government can become a creative community all on its own. It requires public and private partnership, citizen volunteers working together with support from the city and the community. I want to recognize our citizen volunteers who have worked so hard on this, and they are Yvonne Dunnitz, Sai Mahfouz, Joseph Aboudi, and Megan Durden, along with all the committee members and sponsors who have made this gallery possible. Uh, thank you to all of them, and why don't we give them a round of applause. Now, you are in the beautiful Rotary Common, and Yvonne was just telling me that these are pear trees here at the four corners of the labyrinth. Uh, the whole thing is designed from a landscape perspective to show different colors doing, during different parts of the year. And we walked the labyrinth, and didn't you feel more relaxed when you did so? It's pretty good. Now, all of this is the work of Yvonne Dunnitz. Uh, she conceived the labyrinth uh, and has been the driving force not only but about for the wall here but the labyrinth and this whole park. So if Yvonne would come up, please. She's reluctant but we're going to make her do it anyway. I do have an, you know, a proclamation for Yvonne because she has contributed so much and she was on the school board a long time ago. She, uh, but she's contributed so much to the city, to the park here, 
has made what used to be really nothing here a very, very beautiful and re relaxing and meaningful place. So, uh, so whereas Yvonne Dunitz has a passion for Nashua, yes, she does, she always has the health and well-being of all Nashuans at the forefront of her heart, whether it's through her work as a holistic healer, her public access show The Health View, or investing in community projects that all Nashuans can enjoy, like the Rotary Common Park and the Gallery at the Wall and her Celebrate Nashua video. Whereas the site of Rotary Common Park and the Gallery at the Wall has important historical significance to the city of Nashua, it was the site of the, first, the city's first post office and was the former home of International Paper Box Machine. Its location on Main Street lends it to being a gateway to Nashua's downtown. In 1999, the Rotary Club of Nashua was tasked by Rotary International with creating a park space right here prior to the Rotary's 100th anniversary, celebrated in 2005. Rotary Common Park and the Gallery at the Wall are the result of this project. And whereas the creation of Rotary Common Park and the Gallery was a big undertaking, and many dedicated Nashuans helped out. Yvonne Dunitz and Yusuf Aboudi helped raise money to create the Gallery at the Wall. The once deteriorating wall along the park's northern border is now an outdoor art space showing off rotate, rotating artwork of Nashua's past and present. Whereas Yvonne got the idea to install the labyrinth while visiting an outdoor labyrinth in San Francisco. The labyrinth and reflection garden at Rotary Common Park have become a place of peace and serenity. We thank Yvonne for helping bring this beloved outdoor space to our city and for filling it with art, history, and comfort. Now, therefore, I, Jim Donchus, Mayor of the City of Nashua, do hereby recognize Yvonne Dunitz for her contributions to Nashua and encourage all re residents to visit Rotary Common Park, the Gallery at the Wall, and the Labyrinth. So thank you very much, Yvonne. So I think I thank you very much. Um, and I think I bring Cy back. And, oh, but I haven't had a chance to thank our choir. You guys did a great job. Thank you very much. Why don't we give them a round of applause? Charlotte has a great music program. Oh, you're going to sing one more song right now. So here we go.
wonderful job. That was beautiful. Thank you so much. How special you made the event. Thank you so much. And thank you, parents, for bringing your children. And thank you, Miss Lincoln. Now I'd like to bring up Cy so that you can introduce the sponsors. Good afternoon. That was just, that was awesome. Just great. Um, so projects like this can't happen without generous people. And there are generous people who give their time, there are people who give their talent, and there are people who give their treasure. The sponsors that we have today are sponsors that came forward because of this project, because of the children, because of the arts. And today I'd like to recognize them. Uh, the sign naming rights is Brady Sullivan. You can see the sign behind me. And the city made that sign, and we're just so proud of it. Uh, Brady Sullivan came forward. I remember when um, Arthur Sullivan sat with Carol and I um, in the Adult Learning Center, walked all around the Adult Learning Center to learn more about what it was all about, and immediately said, I'm in. This is a special place, not just because of Rotary Common, but because of the Adult Learning Center as well. Um, our sponsorship in kind, the National Telegraph. Heather Henline is here. Uh, she is amazing. Uh, it's, she knows only one word, and it's yes. What do you need? What can I do? Yes, I'll do it. Heather, without you, uh, we couldn't get the exposure. People wouldn't know that this is going on, and um, we wouldn't be successful. Thank you for your help. Um, the photography and printmaking sponsor for, for the year is Enterprise Bank. Enterprise Bank came to Nashua about eight or nine years ago, and they are the best big, small bank you will ever see. They are a large bank, but they act small. They, you go in there and you feel like they're, they're just so easy to work with, like they're the only bank, the people remember your name, just like Cheers, and they really do welcome you. Um, we are so fortunate to have Enterprise Bank, and they get involved in most of these projects throughout the city. Uh, drawing and painting sponsor for the year is Carol and John Creek. Our panel sponsors are Yvonne and Gary Dunnitz and myself and my wife Janet. Um, the, the fiscal agents are City of Nashua for Phase 1, 2, and City Arts Nashua Phase 2 and Supporter. The reception sponsors, both for today and for last night, was City Moose Cafe and Catering. Um, also, uh, the uh, Adult Learning Center gave us um, uh, cupcakes, and really there were a lot of people involved with the food last night. So we can't thank them enough, we can't thank you enough, and we've got to remember that for projects like this to happen, with the art center that we're building uh, down the street, it takes sponsorships that stand up and say, we don't want to be recognized, but we will be recognized to bring other people to get involved. This is going to go on forever. And without these sponsors, we can't have this happen. So thank you very much, everybody, and thank you to all the sponsors. Heather, would you like to come up and say a few words on behalf of the Telegraph? Because we greatly appreciate everything that you've done for us. And thank you very much. Absolutely. First of all, I'm so happy to see so many children and their parents and families and friends here today who could join in this with us because really that's what got us connected um, with the Telegraph to this project. When Sai and Yvonne first approached me, the excitement level that I had that we could do a virtual gallery so that all of the students' artwork appears at nashvilletelegraph.com. We're so ecstatic to have been able to do that and to have that up for months. But more importantly, we're celebrating the arts. I think that Funding that, encouraging that, that inspiration that comes forth is so incredibly important. And we are ecstatic as a community member to do that. And I celebrate and encourage all of you today. So thank you so much for allowing us to participate and for the invitation. Thank you. It is our committee members that also helped us. And part of that, besides um, the chair and the co-chair, is Yusuf Abudi, who is the inaugural artist and Carol Baldwin, who's the executive director of the Adult Learning Center, and Judy Carlson. Judy, would you be kind enough to raise your hand? She is the representative from the uh, Arts Commission, 
In addition, Nick Caggiano. Nick Caggiano is the head of the Parks and Recreation, and he was the one that helped us to get this sign all ready for us and also takes care of the beautiful parks. Megan Durden, who is the teacher that uh, represented, the, where are you, Megan? Thank you very much, from the elementary. And um, Angela Walsh, she with us? Over there, come on, Angela. Related to the high school, middle school, Paul Shea, who is the Greater Downtown Executive Director. Shawnee Nolay, who represents City Arts. Where is she? Over there? Okay, so, and we also had, as part of the selection committee, um, Dennis Johnson, who did the G Clay to take the work of Yusuf Abudi, who arranged it into montages and then put it into G Clay. Madeline LaRose, who I'm not sure is here, is the artist that was a part of the selection committee right there, Madeline, and Monique Secularis. So without them all, we wouldn't be here today. But I'd like to introduce right now Yusuf Abudi. Yusuf, please come. I'm sorry, I, I left the, yeah, give the. <laughs> So, Yusuf Abudi is the inaugural artist. So, it, it was because of Yusuf that we were out, able to take a vision and make it into being. And he did a magnificent job, but not only of this work, but also in helping us to select the next group and taking that work and then making it so that there's this beautiful montage that you're going to see shortly, and then creating the website that will allow you today to go on and see not only each of the panels, but when you click on the, um, on the brochures that you'll get shortly, on the back there, there is this click that you can do with your phone. It will bring you right into the website where you can click and see the statements of each of the individual students, which is beautiful. So Yusuf, Without you, we would have never done this, and we are so grateful to you, and thank you very, very much. So, did you want to say a few words? You sure? So, now, okay. So now we're going to invite the mayor, the committee members up, uh, Sai up, and all of the students up, if you would, every one of them that have participated in this, if we can. Carol, you need to come up because we are going to do the ribbon cutting before we actually begin the process of showing and unveiling, right? All right, so now we've got way too much. Yeah. 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 Yusuf and Megan, please step forward. Up, uh, where would you like them? By the first panel. We're going to introduce. So now, it's like the drum roll. Da -da 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 so now we're going to introduce panel by panel. And Allegra Bolverman here, who is the photographer, which we're very pleased to have. Each panel that we do, we're going to call the students up one at a time. And then, not yet, Yusuf and, and make it. They will unveil it once the students are up. And then the photographer is going to take a picture. And then once that picture is taken, we go to the next one. By the time we get to the 12th panel, we're going to ask all the students to come up. And they're going to do a group shot of them. And the gallery at the wall committee will come up with them. And we'll take another shot. Are we ready? Here we go. Ava Simone Durden. Aria Vanderveen, Annalise Esquivel, Abigail Bozak, Nico Lemon, Kenley Levesque, 
and Nelo Angeles. You ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Okay, we ready for panel two. Panel two, please come up when I call your name. Kathleen Clark. Michelle Jimenez. Brogan Jordan. Destiny Lorenzo. Josias Perez. Ethan Simek. Damian Lacasse. Sophia McDonald, Miles McAllister, Audrey Nyland, Jackson Page, Layla Palmer, and Madeline Ray. Please step up. Thank you. Yeah, I think so. No, you what, didn't know, no, no, no. Oh, I'm sorry. I missed a couple. Well, sorry. You can't give me a job to do. I can't do it. Oh, that's all the way around. Look at all those kids. Yadil Rosario, Travis Berthwine, Addison Bodette, Owen Wolf, Julia Bertoli, Benson Briand, Elisa Cora, Charles Jardine, Jacob Jensen, Ella Tamare, Samara Thomas, and Abel Cruz. Sorry about that. I got all these. Yep. We have everybody? Everybody's here? Okay. They're ready? One, two, three, go. Look at that. Gives me goosebumps. Panel three, third to fifth grade, Regan Bozak, Lila Evans, Kiernan Basada, Lucas Irwin, Michael Schur, Serena St. Pierre, and Koshani Ghosh. I hope I said that right. <laughs> One, two, three. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, the fourth panel, Julia Madera, Emma McGinnis, Sophia Savard, Janet Rose, Anthony Sarasso, and Kyla Lisa. Please step up. Thank you very much. Is that everybody? One, two, three. Come on, smile. Thank you very much. Panel five, sixth to eighth grade. Emery Frost, Emery Frost. Isabel 
Erdinola, Santiago Quintero, Hazel Williams, Katie Barbie Cotto. Do we have everybody? Good. One, two, three. Oh, I'm sorry, Henny. Very nice. Okay, our sixth panel, Taylor Ann Berry, Bella O'Halloran, Emily Kaylee Rose Taylor, Wenxi Hong, Ekta Patel. This is sixth to eighth grade. Everybody up? One, two, three. I hope everybody sticks around at the end. You really got to get up close and look at these. They're pretty amazing. Seventh panel, sixth to eighth grade, Elisa Maria Morris, Morris, Lashmarango Ganesh Bubble, Taylor McMahon, Taylor Lessard, and Krisha Amit Dani. No one? Not here? No one. Okay, one. Two, three. So we've got the eighth panel, ninth to twelfth grade. Patrick Lemist, Summer Wells Metcalf. Gianna Elaine Beatrice, Ariana Adil Tomala Pintado. One, two, three. Panel 9, from 9th to 12th grade, Jake Smith, Nathan Cormier, Durja Raja, Caden Grandmasong, Kava Padaka. We have everybody? All right. One. Two, three. <laughs> Panel number 10, ninth to 12th grade. Ryan McDonald, Durja Raja, Isabel Schuler, Shankari Lakshmiriana. 
Anybody? One, two, three. Panel number 11, Holly Perillo, Alex Wheeler, Amber Heim, Laney Laraway, Tim Santera, and William Ryan. You ready? One, two, three. Okay, number 12 and last one, it's Clearway High School, Jessica Gigore, Josh Fraze, Gabrielle Ramos, Gabrielle Alicia, Emmanuel Garcia, Abby Smith, Travis Lauder, and Vanessa Alicia. Anybody here? One. Two, three. You. you are all about to receive now the new brochure for the gallery at the wall. There will be some that will always be in the labyrinth box there with it. Eventually, it is our hope um, that we are going to put its own box right underneath this, the main uh, plaque here, where these will be there. But for now, they're shared over there. You will see here in the brochure, it starts with the first panel, and it explains about Rotary Common Park, what you'll find here, the vision of the committee, the industrial history of Rotary Common, all of the other panels, our sponsors, as well as how to contribute and how you can become a sponsor and connect with us for the future. It is with your continued support and sponsorship that we will be able to continue to make this a worthy project to share art. Yusuf? So each panel has a QR code on it. that's scannable that goes directly to the page for each panel uh, for each of the artwork and the uh, artist statements there. So, okay? Okay, so on behalf of the Gallery at the Wall Committee, what we'd like to do right now, are you ready to do a whole group photograph? Okay, can you get ready? If we take the Gallery of the Art Committee up here, please, we're going to get a, a picture of the committee with the mayor. And then we would like the sponsors to join them after we get the first shot, and then all the children with all of them. Okay, is that good? Everybody get really in tight. Mayor, you be in the middle and get everybody cozy. So we've got one more thing that we want to do before you run off. Megan? Oh, the art teachers. The art teachers, would you please come up for a moment? All the art teachers. There you go, smile. Okay. And Megan, can I see you for a moment? I got one more thing we need to do. Megan, do you want to? So, Yvonne? 
We can't thank you enough for everything that you've done. You are a great leader. As uh, somebody who was a drill instructor in the Army, I would have followed you anywhere you told me to go. Um, we wanted to get you a little something to say thank you. It's not enough. Um, all the nights you worked late, everything that you did for this project is amazing. Thank you very much for your inspiration. Thank you very much. I think that it, it uh, is exactly what we had envisioned. Thank you very much. Thank you, and thank you everybody. Now, please don't forget, the new Muse celebration is going on right now downtown, and at the old Alex Shoe store, you will see more student art displayed, and at the Telegraph office lobby on Main Street, more art displayed. I wish to thank all of the students, all of the parents, all of the teachers, all of the committee members, and the mayor and everyone for a wonderful support of this and have a fantastic weekend. And Megan, thank you very much. And Angela for coordinating all the faculty. And thank you parents for sharing your children with us and their wonderful talents. Have a wonderful weekend. Take care. Um, my name is Hazel Williams. I'm 11 years old and I'm in seventh grade at Penichuk Middle School. And I made this painting in art class and it celebrates diversity in Nashua. And so I showed like some of the different events in Nashua where I see a lot of diversity. And that's really what inspired me for this. So I have the symbol for like the Silver Knights and the Farmer's Market and the Public Library, the Pride Festival, the New Muse, and a lot of other fun activities that really represent diversity in our town. Hi, my name's Summer Wells Metcalf and I'd like to show you my art piece. So I wanted my piece to almost be like a cultural event to look at. So um, by presenting the diversity of society and you know our wonderful city, I created um, an art piece with multiple different races and multiple different ethn ethnicities. So I have eyes of lots of different colors, I have lots of different skin tones, I have flowers from all sorts of different regions as well, again, to present, to present diversity. Thank you. My name is Gianna Elaine Beatrice, and this is my piece right here. Um, I wanted to showcase Nashua's great diversity, ethnic backgrounds, and races that live here. So instead of doing faces or full people, I did the hands, and I chose to put um, Nashua in black and white to kind of show uh, the diversity holding up the community of Nashua, and that's what keeps us together. Hi, I'm Emery, I'm from Penichuk, and I'm 13, and I made this painting right here. Uh, I really like this symbol of holding hands, it really shows unity, so I incorporated that into my painting. I thought bringing out the colors and the differences in the hand against a, back, a black background would really show how our differences can be stronger than the darkness. Hello, my name is Megan Darden. I am the National School District District Coordinator, uh, K through five, and I'm also an elementary art teacher at Charlotte Ave Elementary School. I am in front of the panels for the gallery at the wall. Um, this was the first year that our uh, students at the Na in the National School District were invited to participate in this project. This project is Together We Rise, weaving the cultural, uh, social and cultural fabric of Nashua uh, through the celebration of diversity and inclusion. We have 12 panels that were uh, selected out of about 350 uh, works of art that our students worked on this school year. Um, the selection process was pretty incredible because we realized that we have such uh, passionate students that uh, really deserve to have their, their voices heard and they really had something to say and you can really see that in the power in these images. Um, our, all of our schools in our National School District were involved in the project in some way. Um, the panels were chosen um, between kindergarten all the way up to uh, the 12th grade um, and we had a range of uh, media 
Uh, we had some pencil drawings, some watercolor, we had mixed media projects, we had some amazing um, printmaking and photography uh, that is on display now. We also have some panels uh, that were sponsored by the Adult Learning Center. Um, so it was a really great uh, collaborative project and a great way to see the uh, diversity of our talented students in Nashua. Thank you. Welcome to the gallery at the wall. Today, May 4th, 2019 was a beautiful day here at Rotary Common Park. We celebrated the opening of the new exhibit. The inaugural artist Yusuf Aboudi's exhibit ran when we first opened up the gallery in 2014. And today we had taken out his artwork and the theme for this particular exhibit was Together We Rise. And it is about weaving and celebrating diversity and inclusion. And by so doing, we had 350 students who submitted their artwork from K through 12 through the Nashua School District and also through the Clearway High School. Of that 350 students, a total of 88 students' children's artwork were included in this exhibit. And today we had the students come and their parents and panel by panel, the 12 panels that are here, we unveiled their art. It will be exhibited here from May 4th until April 15, 2021. The next phase will begin in 2019, where in 2020 we will call for the call for artists, and in 2021 the new exhibit will go up. Rotary Common Park is a place for all of you at the Gallery at the Wall to learn about the history of Nashua with the panels to the left and to the right. It is a place to celebrate what and how artists see the present of Nashua. Go to this exhibit. It is a beautiful opportunity to see through the eyes of children how they have expressed the celebration of diversity and inclusion. Mm -hmm.